ओम शांति ओम शांति ओम शांति अच्छा ये किसके लिए खाली छोड़ा है डैडी इज वन रिंग वाई अच्छा वन एरिया हैज बीन लेफ्ट आप दोनों यहाँ आ जाओ भाई आ जाए नजदीक और मोटा भाई आ जाओ और निमित बने हुए भाई आ जाओ That is calling the senior brothers to the front, oh, 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 oh. instrumental teacher brothers. Mera bahut mitha bhai Nizar bhai. Nizar bhai ye mera bhai. Nizar bhai is daddy's very Amara, sweet. America bhai. Brother um Bare bhai aa jao. Brother from America, all senior brothers please come to the front. Chali ka hua hai shayad. Chali. Acha. <coughs> डेविड आ जाओ आ जाओ आ जाओ आ जाओ आ जाओ नजदीक आ जाओ नजदीक आ जाओ मुरली सुन ली न सभी ने अच्छी तरह से एवरी वन एंजॉय लिसनिंग टू द मुरली यस अभी वन में नंबर वन में आ सकते हैं ना यू कम इन द नंबर वन नंबर वन में आ सकते हैं यू कैन बी द नंबर वन काउंट यू आर यू गोइंग टू गिव डैडी अ रिस्पॉन्स What do you have to do to become number one? Suppose you produce a thought that you will have to become number one. Then what will you do for that? Now it's the new year, so we're talking about new things. New things should come into us. So what will we do? The love should be so real, so true, so that the comforter of hearts is very happy with me. The comforter of hearts is the father. He he gives rest to the heart. He should be so happy with me. that his heart gets into mine meri lagi to badi baat nahi hai if i if uh, i like he, he likes me that's not a big thing i like him and he likes me both that's a special thing jiski dil aaram se dil lagi hui hai na wo kya karenge if your in the heart of the comforter of hearts then he listens to the things of your heart and makes your heart filled with rest jante hain main janu tum jane he knows i know you know he knows internally you know internally that he knows In Bhakti, also, also we used to say that you are the only one who knows your ways and destination. No one else knows, because it is yours. We used to say that to God. You are the one who knows. And now we children say, we know. We know who you are. We know how you are. We know what you do and what you get done through others. We know very well. We know what you're doing and what you're getting done through others. What does he get done? Uh, he makes your uh, th- thought mind body wealth uh, profitable not a single bit goes to waste sare pure chakkar mein aane wale those who are going to come at the very beginning and pass through the entire cycle those who will come in the first day of the first month of the first year or the first birth they will make their time profitable 
When you make your body profitable, you get great happiness of the body through that, because it will be there not only in the future, but we're talking about now. Baba is showing this. Use yourself in service, and I will make sure that your body is in good, because it's not yours, it's mine. I am responsible. So in Sakar, Baba used to say, child, no matter what the government is, even if it is a military government, they will take care of them and pay attention to them because the country is going to be protected by them because they're always ready to fight on the battlefield. They give up their life for the country, for the service of the country. They remain available. These will never die of hunger. And those who are present on Baba's service, I always tell you, it's a very firm thing in the sanskaras. There will ne you will never have to worry about where the food is going to come from. There will always be food for you. So we have never been concerned about that. But who will take care of me? We never thought about that. Who will look after me? I was talking with someone, I said, we've never had the thought that how we will manage, it's never come, because the confluence age is one where we have received so much love from God. He has made us so powerful. So we can never experience ourselves to be empty or alone. Two things. Never. We've never had the thought that, oh, I'm alone at night. No matter where we are, there will not be any fear. Why would we have fear? Now we have the practical awareness that Baba is with us, and in Bhakti we had the faith that Baba is with us. We always feel God is with us. This sanskar, which now we we are being f is being filled into us by the the comforter of the hearts, and he says to us very intimately, "Child, what do you want?" I am here. I am with you. Where would I go? What do you want? He says, I'm there, I'm, I'm sitting there, so whatever you need, I provide, whatever you want. Look for it in me. Whatever you want, take it from me. What do you want? Baba makes us so filled that there is never any need to ask for anything. Baba says it's better to die than to beg. We have already died whilst alive, so what is the need to beg for anything and from whom? And but those who have come to Baba's door, they should leave with fulfillment and with plenty. This also I say to you, even the smallest service place, 
Atma Bhai Tenson Road dekha hai? Daddy is asking if Atma Bhai or Nizar Bhai have seen Tenison Road in London, the first place where service happened. And uh, there's a very small center in Pune where Jayanti Ben took her spiritual birth, and even smaller than that was the center in in London, and the place where she was called to serve to serve was even smaller than that. And this is the wonder of her alokic birth and and her alokic service. She is very very firm, and because of her, the firm strong instruments who are now serving throughout the world emerged. Now the people are not as firm as the people who emerged from that time. But those who had emerged from that small center in Tennyson Road cannot be shaken by anything. Baba has said you are so free from obstacles, make yourself so strong, be so attentive to yourself with such strong, deep love which you are merged in love for Baba. Then your stage will always be without obstacles. Today's Murli was so powerful. The stage of a person who has no uh, no obstacles will be what? Look at your form. There are no bad omens or obstacles affecting me at all. So let my obstacle-free stage be maintained because there is strength drawn into the self from the Father. So how can any obstacle hinder? Even if someone would come to hinder, okay, chalo, let's go, go away. You will not be afraid. A person who has an obstacle-free stage is never afraid of those who come to produce obstacles because they will find very good ways to give obstacles. And Mabha has said, from the beginning onwards, since God had established this abs uh, yagya, the people have been there to create obstacles. This is their job, and they have always been there. But we should always have a stage free from obstacles. Not only we are not afraid from the obstacles, but we are the destroyers, and then we can be called Baba's children. Because we eat from the yagya, we eat from God's house. God is feeding us, and there is great power in that sustenance, personal power. And think, in so much, uh, he ha you have so much. There is so much love. You can just sleep in His love. You're eating. When we were small in Gyan, new in Gyan, perhaps less than one year, in the Yagya, and there was various obstacles, but as much as we would eat from the Yagya, that much we would find there was opportunities to do service. We felt that each and every grain was very, very valuable, and it was going to make us into valuable as diamonds. And this was when we were very, very first in Gyan. And even till today, we count each thing that we eat. Um, we want to give the return for that because we are eating from the yagya. When we eat from the 
the Yagya, we don't want to ad adopt a burden from that. We want to give the return of that. If you eat from anyone else, you definitely have to give them the return. And so from the beginning, we haven't wanted to have any karmic account with anyone. If we eat, then we eat from God. And God gives us to eat and he gets us to do the service of the yagya. And the Brahmanis of the Yagya will do the service. It is, we would not allow any others than Brahmins to go into the kitchen. We create the, the we make the food. It is only Brahmins who make the food. We don't let anyone else make the food. We don't let anyone else serve the food to anyone. If anyone's intellect is not quite right, we don't allow them to prepare the food. You've seen the history hall, and you saw how we used to eat Brahma Bhojan with Baba. Baba was sitting in front, and we were in sitting in lines. And Jayanti Ben had also participated in that. It was a very wonderful experience. Baba used to give drishti, and he would uh, ask them to wear little bells as they, as they would feed the others with so much happiness. And the ones who would feed those who were eating should do it with so much love. Baba had taught us each and every aspect. It's not that you just plonk the roti down on the plate, but it has to be given with love. Each Baba had taught us how to take each and every step of life so that it would be as if angels are doing everything. For 63 births, we've had our feet in the dust and we got very dirty. Now, you've become so good, so clean. It is extraordinary. Baba had taught cleanliness very much. Once I was in Kunj Bhavan, that is the Kunj Bhavan of Karachi, and it had stairs, rather similar to Global House, with a balcony. And I always see Global House like that. We would stand, we would be down below and Baba would be standing up above and Mama also used to stand up above. Sometimes Mama began the murli like that. And so our, uh, uh, when Baba would uh, speak the murli, Mama would keep her head uh, uh, held up like that uh, for maybe hour, hour and a half at a time while standing. One time Baba and as if there was a, a table for reception, Baba was sitting there and he said to all of us, now you all sit like this. Put your feet like this. Now you can see that I don't have old people's feet with cracks in them. And Baba said, children, everyone will see our feet. Baba was very old, but he had very good feet. Mama had very good feet taken care of. Even in bhakti, they worship the feet. And so your feet should be so well cared for. Baba had given so much love and attention to us. What should I tell you?
Even now, day by day, Baba says, if I don't give love to all of my children individually, then one would sulk from me. Baba gives love to all of his children. But we need to understand how to take the love from Baba no matter what happens. We say, Baba, he says, yes, child. Even in the middle of the night, we have the experience that once I had moved the curtain a little bit, he said, why? What happened? I was uh, standing by um, Baba's uh, cot and somebody said, why? He said, she said, this is my fixed place. And the, 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 we had the small footstools and Baba had one under his cot. And he said, um, uh, pull out the footstool and sit on that. He was lying on the bed. There wasn't anything to say particularly. He just said, child, sit down. And I'm telling you things that have struck my heart from the comforter of the hearts, things that have made the heart very strong. And the heart has been made very full of happiness. The heart is happy and the brain is cool. The brain can never get hot. And Baba used to like that the um, words would be very simple. The happy heart, the, the cool head, and very easygoing nature. And the nature should be so easygoing that you speak clearly, truthfully, and sweetly. If you just say aggressively that I'm telling the truth, then Baba says, no. Be truthful, clear, and a very simple language. If anybody has anything um, of a conflicting nature inside, then uh, they will not be able to speak to Baba so well. But if they're free from that, they will speak to Baba very sweetly and lovingly, and Baba will um, listen. Baba doesn't listen to long, detailed things, but he hears the truth. You understand? Somebody who thinks a lot, they have to tell in detail. But no, it's very short and sweet and simple. Even one word, what's going on inside, you just tell that or tell your weakness from your heart. It's not that Baba knows. I once I said, Baba, you know. He said, no, I don't know anything. Why should I know what's going on inside your thoughts? Whatever you are thinking, why should I know about it? But what ever is going on in the child it, to be a, the very important ability to be able to speak with the father once you speak with the father then you say okay this is the thing and he'll say oh it'll become all right his words he would listen, but sometimes uh, even a messenger would go to the to the subtle regions. And how does Baba speak in the subtle regions? We would ask her because Baba speaks here, but in the subtle regions, how does he speak? At that time, the subtle 
बड़ा शुद्ध क्लियर भावना वाला बाबा के प्योर फॉर्म ऑफ बाबा वाज सच दैट यू कुड कैच व्हाट बाबा इज सेइंग व्हेन दादी गुलजार गेट्स अ मैसेज शी राइट्स डाउन she gets the message she brings it and there is such power in those words how she catches baba's meaning and they are accurate word by word because it strikes the heart you feel the truth of the words and you say yes this is good what baba has said ऐसा सुखम हमारा एंड सो आवर गॉडली लव इज सो सटल आवर रिलेशनशिप विद बाबा शुड बी सो क्लियर सो डीप सो प्योर देन बाबा सेज माला तैयार नहीं हुई है अंटिल नाउ द रोजरी इज नॉट येट कंप्लीट सो कम कम एक बाप के गले का हार बन जाओ become the garland of baba's so, neck and you become this through a true heart nothing else Shri by following shrimat kyunki baba phir ye batate ho because ek wari one time sunaya hai phir bhi main sunaya maybe i've Mere told chod before chod i felt a little uh, upset inside um, my health was not good and i felt that i couldn't travel or do service to main pune se aayi thi mushkil i had come from pune running to baba us time amrit vele yog kara tha and baba was conducting meditation at amrit vela it was the month of may इन द हिस्ट्री हॉल पहले बाबा कभी चार बजे योग कराने प्रीवियसली बाबा डिडेंट डू कंडक्टिंग मेडिटेशन एट फोर एम ही वुड स्टे इन हिज रूम बट आई रन हियर फ्रॉम पुनः हियरिंग दैट बाबा इज कंडक्टिंग अमृत वेला एंड um bholi dadi had said that he didn't he hadn't this day and in the courtyard where you know baba was giving drishti to everyone in that place where nevra bai stands and he he i had remembered and i had been pulled and brought then when i came to baba's room i said baba today तो आई थी क्या मैं आई केम बिकॉज यू वर कंडक्टिंग मेडिटेशन एंड ही सेट ही डिडेंट ही डिडेंट दैट डे बाबा सेट दोस हु रिमेंबर बाबा बाबा रिमेंबर्स दोस तो याद से याद मिलती है एंड सो थ्रू योर रिमेंबरेंस यू रिसीव रिमेंबरेंस फ्रॉम बाबा सुबह को मोली चलाई थी दूसरे दिन एंड देन द नेक्स्ट डे वी वर स्टडीइंग द ही वाज स्पीकिंग द मोली एंड प्रेजिंग डैडी मनोहर हु हैड बीन डूइंग वेरी गुड सर्विस इन पंजाब एंड देन आई वेंट टू बाबा एट 6 पीएम बाबा वाज लाइंग देयर इट वाज वेरी नाइस सीइंग बाबा इन द लाइंग डाउन पोज लाइक विष्णु and i sat near him i said baba my rosary is getting less and less and he said who told i didn't say manor dadi is good i said manor dadi is very good i said he, you said that she is very good and baba said no baba didn't say that i said yeah you did say <laughs> and she is doing and then papa said no papa didn't say that and then i he smiled and he got such a sweet face he said child since 7 years i haven't been on a train i haven't been able to do any any um uh, any any traveling any service because the 
the train is too disturbing. It bumps around too much. So even now, I don't go in trains. Baba had said, no, with great, great love. I said, Baba, what will happen? And then that evening, there was a letter of some disturbance. And he said, and I knew that was such a letter had come that night. Must have been about 11 at night. And no one could ever say to me that I couldn't go and see Baba at that late hour. And he said, yes, child, come. Do you understand that these things these things have helped me a great deal to, till today. And Papa said, did you remember Baba through the day? He had a very powerful face. He said, daughter, if, if Baba remembers these disturbing things, then how can he um, run the, uh, speak the murli? And I always remember those words and and the uh, uh, expression of Baba. And at the time of sleeping, he was so free and easy. And then by the morning, everything was fine. Baba's remembrance is there. Baba is concerned to re speak the murli for the children in such a way they, they always are sustained. Um, Baba is remembering we children. Uh, what is the the proof that Baba is remembering us is the proof that our remembrance must be so good. So at that time, Baba was speaking the murli. There were very few people sitting there. And some were sort of looking the other way. But then Baba gave a very, very powerful murli. I said, Baba, with whom are you speaking? Because afterwards we used to go to Baba. We enjoyed that. Previously they wouldn't let us. But we would go. What she Baba coming through Brahma showed this very powerful face on that day. And Baba said, the murli that I spoke in the previous kalpa, I will, I will speak this time. I'm not going to be concerned with who's sitting in front. I will speak to children like you. So the yoga of the intellect has to be such so that Baba always sees us in front of himself. He should always see us in front of him, and we should be so close and near to him. Because this is the way for becoming uh, close to Baba and similar to Baba. We will get the power to do that through doing this. He will get everything done. But the one who is being used to get things done has to have a proper face. Never will Daddy say, I am doing something. Never will Baba say, I am doing something. Always they will say, Baba is getting it done. Baba is getting it done. But it's still the face of Brahma Baba. She Baba is the one who is getting it done, but you see the face of the one through whom it is being done. So we should have our faces such. Sometimes I say to people, no, keep your face in a good condition because you are the child of, of God. You're eating from God. You're being uh, taught by God. So people need to see this from your face. You are following the instructions of God. So it should show on your face. So our face should be such. So that even if we don't speak the word Baba, but 
it's coming from the face. People will never feel that they've ever seen a human face quite like this before, whether it's a sister or a brother. They would never have seen such a thing. Our Baba is such. He has the form of a human. But in the entire world, have you ever seen anyone like him? I have seen people all over the world. I have never seen any such a charismatic person. Whether a He's not fat or thin or uh, you can look at anyone from any religion. They look at him and they say, yeah, he is my father. And so we souls have taken so much love from the Supreme Soul that everyone has the feeling that, hey, he is the one. There's no feeling of um, uh, adversarial relationship, but friendliness. When you go in front of him, he makes you filled with happy happiness. You have peace. You have Baba's power, and the the link of love between all of you should be very strong. The thread should never be weak. Um, Baba used to see if our connection is straight to him like a, a string on a kite and it depends on the power of the kite string and because Maya will come along with blades to cut that string but you won't let go of the one above. Get, take the chances while you can now. And this is the, the gift of the new year, to make sure that your, your uh, string of remembrance goes all the way up. Maya will try to bring you down, but you just go right up. Be careful and clever. Uh, Baba has made the string strong so that you can keep it up above, make yourself an angel and not have any relations with anyone down here. Have the flying degree. Understand? To today we, we celebrated Diwali, today it is New Year, and so for the whole year, for the rest of time, remain happy, remain blissful, keep flying, and make others fly. See the wonder of cleanliness and honesty. <laughs>